guys, I wanted to share with you a anatomy and physiology lesson that um, we did just recently. Um, it turned out really good and uh, you can do it for any part of the body. This particular one I did the example of for an aesthetics course um, or when you're teaching facials. Um, this particular one I got off of Google and it is the muscles of the face and the decollete neck shoulder area. So what I did is I started off with this. I gave the students um, this exact sheet. It uh, has all the names here of the muscles. And what I had them do is I gave them the Crayola air dry clay that I use for sculpting when I do stage makeup. And I had them just printed just a skull here uh, from Google, just a random image. And I had them build these muscles, form, shape, and align them just like they see here on this image. I uh, also had them color code and make sure that they've uh, labeled each muscle uh, just right. Um, and then that was the top for the face. And then this was the bottom for the neck, shoulder, decollete area. And so these are the muscles of that uh, diagram. For their test, what I had them do is once um, this dried, we reviewed it, went over it, I gave them this exact sheet here just made a copy of it. I did do a white out on the vocabulary or the names of the muscles or the terms and then they had to fill in um, their sheet. Now if they did it correctly they were able to use their um, uh, diagram at the end of the test of five minutes or if you can make an activity if they did it correctly you can have them use this to fill it in. It's up to you. Um, I did do one for the hands and feet. I do not have that diagram here with me. Oops, sorry. I did do one for the hands and feet. I do not have that diagram here with me, but I did also do one for um, hairdressing or cosmetology uh, course, and this is for the scalp. So then this is scalp massage uh, manipulations when you're doing the massage uh, on your guest, or also you can use it for the facials as well. So it's really neat. It took about a good two hours or so. Just used uh, the Crayola air dry clay, just regular paper. I probably would use cardstock next time so it won't be, uh, the uh, moisture from the clay won't be absorbed so much by the paper and wrinkle. Um, I did have give them a paper clip and they opened up the paper clip and made the indentions in the clay. And then once the clay was dry, uh, if it cracked, we went over it with a little bit of water. Uh, if not, we went ahead and uh, put one thin layer of Elmer's glue on top just so it's nice and sturdy and would not continue cracking. And then after that dried, uh, you can either do another coat or you can just go ahead and color code and diagram your muscles. And we just use a regular little strip of watercolor. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for tuning in and see you soon.